Welcome back to Hannity. The Council on American Islamic Relations, better known as CARE, has launched a massive letter writing campaign calling on Israel to end its military offensive in Gaza. Now, in a press release, the pro Muslim organization said, in part, quote, the U.S. government must not remain silent about Israel's unjust and disproportionate use of force against the Palestinians in Gaza because American taxpayers provide Israel with billions of dollars of aid each year. We have a right to demand that those funds not be used to take the lives of innocent civilians. Now, interestingly enough, there was no mention of the terrorist group Hamas and their role in this conflict. After all, they started this conflict. So my question is, why is America's largest Muslim so-called civil rights group showing sympathy to terrorists? Here to debate this from the American Islam Islamic Forum for Democracy, Dr. Zudi Jasser is with us. And also joining us, the executive, executive director of the Jerusalem Fund and Palestinian Center in Washington, Youssef well, Munayer is with us. Uh, welcome, all of you. Thanks for being here. Um, Youssef, Thanks, let me ask you this. If I fire 1,600, 2,000 rockets into your neighborhood, I kidnap three children in your neighborhood, students, and I, and I kill them. What do, you what do you think the proper proportionate response is? Well, maybe you should stop the ongoing, for decades long, military occupation of Palestinian territory okay. Okay. Listen, before you listen, question. We can take it back to the Sir, 1948 partition plan, and we can look at the 67 war, the 73 war, and the hostilities abroad to Israel. They did give land for peace nine years ago. Now I'm asking you a question. If thousands of rockets are fired in your neighborhood, what, and, and kids in your neighborhood are kidnapped, what are you going to do? Sean, if what the are United you gonna States... Do? Sir, I'm, I'm going to try to answer your question if you Good stop answer. badgering me. Thank you. Uh, if the United States was uh, invaded by a foreign military and besieged and surrounded, uh, and the food that was coming into the United States uh, was counted by the calories so that people would be put on a diet, as the Israelis claim. You're, you're, and bombs you're, you're were being dropped. Perver sir, let, so you sir, let me finish. No, uh, let no, me no, no. finish. You're justifying... Let the me finish, and no, then you can... You are making a rationalization for I, rockets you, and kidnapping and murder, and you expect the Israel... You want to blame the victims in this case. Zudi Joshua. So the, the, the only well, people blaming the victim here uh, is you, because there Yusuf, are countless you have an Palestinian Yusuf, Yusuf, civilians Yusuf, who this are cycle dead. of lack of... Uh, Yusuf, we can't continue to explain these things away for... For crying out loud, it's Ramadan, and they continue to fly, send rockets out, and organizations like CARE, who, by the way, the FBI, by matter of policy, will not interact with because of the fact that they won't condemn Hamas as a terrorist organization, and as still to this day, they will not recognize them because of that. So they, just like hitting a, hitting a softball, right, Yusuf, I have uh, a question. Um, Hamas launches, let me finish, Hamas launches rockets on innocence, starts a war, war after war, and then they use that to say, well, it's a bigger narrative, it's about the occupation. Meanwhile, they have a gender apartheid inside Gaza. Christians are evacuating because churches are being burned. Their doctrine is, is fascist and genocidal against Jews. Palestinians aren't represented by Hamas, I don't believe, and yet they allow Hamas to drive the let narrative me, me, globally and start wars. I want to ask Yusuf a question. Is Hamas a terrorist organization? Do I get to actually speak now? At you this get point? to answer the question. It's a simple yes or no question. Is sir, Hamas? I, you invited me on here. Is sir, Hamas? You invited me on here Hamas, as a I'm guest. I'm asking you a question. Is Hamas, whose charter calls for the destruction of Israel, is that a terrorist organization? That's a yes or no thank, question. Thank you for your question. And now, now answer. I will it. provide an answer. Finally. It's very telling to me that, and it should be telling to your viewers as well. By the way, that the moment you have a Palestinian voice on your program who begins to explain the legitimate grievances of Palestinians Islam on the ground, not just organization. Hamas. Answer. Sir, let me, sir, Answer let the me question. Finish. Am I a guest on your program or yeah, am I on a, a, guest, or am I on a witness stand Answer. here? Is Hamas a terrorist organization? The United States certainly considers Hamas a terrorist organization. Do you consider, I didn't ask that. what the United States sir, think. I asked what I, you think. Okay. Can you hear? Look, if, you, if, if, you think, if you think that uh, we are going to have any progress in this situation, by simply yelling at me, is uh, that's, not, that's you, not really right, going to be helpful. Let me ask you nicely. Is so, Hamas no, let me a terrorist ask you, sir, a question at is this Hamas point. Is Hamas a terrorist organization, yes let or no? Let me ask you a question, no, sir, No, you don't point. answer a question with a question. Is Hamas, what part of this can't you get through your thick head? I think Is I, Hamas a terrorist excuse me? organization? Excuse yes me? Yes or no? I already answered yes your question. Yes or no? 
I already answered your question. You did not. Well, this is the problem, Yusuf, is that we cannot, you can, why is he asking you if it's a terrorist organization? Because terrorist organizations use children as shields, launch rockets into civilian populations, start a war that victimizes the poor children that are being killed in this war. And just like when America had to go into Afghanistan, had to go into Iraq, we saw pictures from CARE and other organizations saying America is killing innocents, when in fact we were fighting a legitimate war that had unfortunate right. deaths that happened. And this is about, if you want to do stop I, the deaths of children, stop the firing of you, rockets. You had your chance. You didn't say Hamas say anything, is a terrorist organization. Sir, Goodbye. Uh, it, Coming up next, Ainsley at the Big Board to outline the latest examples of anti-Israeli bias in the mainstream media and beyond. And Dr. Charles Krauthammer joins us to respond to her report later. Is the West losing the second Cold War to Vladimir Putin? I'm going to tell you who's suggesting that. We'll check in with Colonel North. He's here tonight as Hannity continues.